everybody, it's Maddie from Diaries of a Farmhouse and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about bugs. We're not going to talk about all bugs. I'm going to make a series addressing each bug um, or insect and then how to treat them successfully um, and my experiences with each one of them if I've been able to, well, if I've experienced them. I don't want to be able to experience them because let's face it, they suck. But Today we're talking about aphids because that's what I'm currently dealing with. Um, so over the summer, my cousin had some succulents that they used for a wedding, I guess. And it, so winter came and she kind of just left them outside and they were looking really horrible. So I took them and I am lazy and I did not um, quarantine them or like spray them down with neem oil. And I'm pretty sure that is where my aphids came from. Um, because it's winter and I can't imagine that they would have come in from outside. So I unfortunately was looking at my succulents the other day and I was like, what is all this stuff? Like there's little things on it, like little black things. Well, it was aphid larvae and they were all in the crevices of like all of my succulents, um, by the window. So they are currently in the quarantine room. Um, I haven't treated them yet, but I will with some of the methods I'm going to talk about today. If you don't know what an aphid is, more than likely you've seen them outside and they're usually like a light green color. Um, these are a different variety, but still pretty much the same bug. They're black instead of green. Um, and I'll show some pictures so that you can tell the difference between an aphid and a fungus gnat because sometimes on the sticky traps, they do look pretty similar. Um, usually an aphid has a smaller body and then like these really round upright ring wings and then a fungus gnat will have a longer body and a little bit, be a little bit bigger. So I will show you a picture of a fungus gnat and a picture of an aphid and then I will also follow up with some pictures of what they look like on my plants so that you can identify them on your own if you have them. Hopefully you don't, praying you don't, but if you do, that way you know what you're dealing with. So they are a flying insect, um, they have larvae, um, and sometimes um, they can be in your soil. So I am going to kind of do like a three-part treatment to my plants. So the first thing I'm going to do is treat with neem oil. Um, I bought a lot of, bottle of the bottles of these when I first started because... Um, a year ago when I first started collecting plants, I was under the impression that I had to use this whole bottle as a co like as the treatment. I did not know that it was a concentrate. So one bottle goes a long way. Um, you use two to four tablespoons per gallon of water. So usually what I will do is I will go get my gallon jug that I cleaned up um, that from like leftover milk or whatever. If you're done with your milk, you can use those jugs uh, for watering and such. So I have one for neem oil. Um, I'll fill it up, I'll put my treatment in there, and then I'll go around and I will spray my plants with a bottle like this. Um, I put a different top on my bottle, but you can get like spray bottles like this at the dollar store. Um, and then I will saturate the leaves and the stem, and then wipe off what I can with a cotton puff just to wipe off the bugs and the majority of the bugs, any larva, whatever is on there. And then I will spray it again, just so that it gets really into the crevices and kind of dries. So what neem oil does um, is it causes, one, a smell that the bugs don't like. Two, it creates like a waxy layer on the leaves that when the bugs eat it, they die. And it also kills any bugs on your plants um, on contact. Unfortunately, it doesn't work for all bugs, but for aphids it does. So that's going to be my first plan of attack. Um, so what I will do is I will treat it, treat my plants for two weeks, probably two to three weeks. It kind of just depends on if you see any bugs or insects, um, larvae, eggs in those two week periods. If you don't and you've treated and quarantined for that amount of time, then you're probably clear. However, um, if you see more bugs, obviously you're going to have to treat for longer. So I'm going to do it like once or twice a week just to make sure that I'm killing anything in the foliage. Um, and making sure that it's not coming back, anything's hatching out after I've killed the adults. So there's that. Um, the other one, the other part of this uh, plan is to 
use sticky traps. So since the adults do fly, um, I'm going to put these in all of my succulents and that way that adults will get stuck to them and die. The last part is hydrogen peroxide, which can be used for a variety of things, but um, I like to use it to treat insects in the soil. So um, I believe the ratio is two parts water, one part hydrogen peroxide, but you can find that ratio online too. Um, so I will use I mean, you could, there's a bunch of different ratios that you can find online, but I would just be cautious because it can burn the roots. Um, I believe the last one I used was that two to one part. Um, and then I will pour it in the soil and it will kill anything that's nesting on top of the soil or in the soil um, and any like dormant lake eggs or larvae from any insect really that's been around or in your plant. So using this method, it's been pretty successful in treating other types of bugs. Um, I would not use the hydrogen peroxide multiple times during that period um, and when the bugs are gone I would not use it anymore because it can sterilize the soil but it can also burn the roots. So be very cautious when using hydrogen peroxide and also be cautious on what plant you're using it on. So you can always find more information about treating your plants with hydrogen peroxide online. Um, I did a lot of research before I used it. so. Anyway, um, pretty simple video today, just letting you know what they look like, um, how I'm going to treat the aphids in my plants, and what to use. So, and it's a pretty simple and cheap uh, way to treat your plants. So, I think the neem oil is like, depending on what kind you get, like 10, 15 bucks. Um, I think I paid 10 for mine or 12 or something. You can also order it on Amazon. I got mine at Lowe's. Uh, Home Depot carries it. I think Walmart does too, I'm not sure. And then also the hydrogen peroxide is only like a dollar something at your local um, CVS, Walgreens, Safeway, whatever you go to. And then these sticky traps, I got two packages like this on Amazon for $8.99 and they're good for like any flying insect. So, all right, and that's it for this video. If you have other methods that have worked for you, please leave them in the comments below. If you have any questions, leave your comments below or message me on my Instagram at mad, M-A-D-D, period, plants. Um, I also have a shop page on Instagram where I sell plants during the warmer months, pots, pet accessories, and more. Um, and that is at diariesofarmhouse.shop. I also have Twitter, um, if you're interested in any of those, I will put them on the screen or I will put them in the description below along with the products that I listed today. I look forward to seeing you in my future videos. Bye!